What's happening, Jig Heads? Welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to share with you one of my secret weapons that's going to help you catch more crappie. Got me excited this morning. Fish are hitting. The presentation that I absolutely love throwing. It's a killer, especially if you got a little bit breezy conditions. Definitely pop good fish like that using it. That's a good one. Yep. Starting the morning off right, guys. Down here early again. And we got ourselves a tanker. Check that beautiful fish out, y'all. Good morning. Hope y'all are having a good day. Stick around for the action. We're going to catch ourselves some crappie today. Gonna probably need to relocate the bucket down there to where I'm catching them. Because I've popped two down there real quick after that sun just got up high enough to see and record. So, I do believe we're gonna take our stuff on down that way. Hey, you gotta stay in the bucket there, mister. If you don't stay in the bucket, you got problems. Get on another one, shall we? Got me excited this morning. Fish are hitting a presentation that I absolutely love throwing and haven't had much success with down here yet this fall. But they seem to be digging it this morning because there's another real good one. I mean, just a tank of a fish. Check that one out. Thick, healthy, beautiful crappie. So what we're throwing down here this morning, guys, I'll clean this jig off real quick. It's a deadly one, the double jig rig. I got two 32nd ounce jig heads. We've got those teamed up with the Snowflake and the American Shad. Those are both actually um, brush bandits from brush pile jigs, a little bit smaller bait than the hammers. But they seem to be doing the trick this morning we're tossing it under a float, maybe about three foot deep. We got a good wind out here this morning. That's why I chose to go with a float presentation down here. I like a little choppier water when I'm throwing a float. Gives them jigs just a little bit more action out there and entices a bite a little bit more out of these fish. The other thing a float does in wind like this gives you a little bit more casting distance than what you've got if you're throwing just a single 32nd ounce or a single 16th. So if the fish are stationed a little bit farther off bank, you can pitch that out to them without as much effort. You don't have to fight the wind as much.
see if we can get us another one down there. Lost track of my float. There it is. There we go. Found us another one down here. Just had to take a few steps down the bank. But that float rig popped, popped another keeper. He ain't quite as big as those first three that we got. But I think he'll go in the bucket. We're going to have to bump that one. Oh, yeah. Ten and three quarter. Boy, we are starting the morning off right. Put four keepers in the bucket before the sun even hit the tree line over there. Well, you can't ask for a better morning than that. Probably striper. Oh, missed it. All right, all right. Let's get that float adjusted back up. And get it back out there. Now, the reason why I say I like using this float rig in a uh, little bit windy conditions, you guys will see me kind of work this rod tip, kind of just which that, that bobber, that allows those jigs to come up behind it and then just settle underneath of it. And the reason why windy condition is good is you got a little chop on the water. So when that bobber's floating there on the water, that chop on the water is giving those jigs more action under there. So you can twitch it a little bit, just let it sit for a second. Twitch it a little bit, just let it sit for a second and you've got constant action on your jigs, which is really important. It's gonna trigger a bite out of these crappie. Really make you a little bit more successful out here catching fish. Of course, I gotta have a phone call when I'm trying to film. And it's Tucker. Come on, Jig Magician. I'm out here trying to make a video, brother. Yellow. Guess what time it is, y'all? Tip it with a little nibble. You folks that are regular on the channel know what I'm talking about. Sometimes you've just got to give it a little tipping. bite slow on the draw ah, he came back for it but I was slow again just as float we'll put it back out in front of his face
go. Another good one. That's a tank. I mean, that's bigger than the, any one that we've got so far this morning, guys. I'm just going to drag him up because I don't want to lose a pretty fish like that. The double jig float rig, guys. It's a killer, especially if you got a little bit breezy conditions. Definitely pop good fish like that using it. All right, jig heads, I'm gonna wrap this one up. Thanks for coming along with me today. If you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I hope you guys get out there and put that double jig bobber rig to use. Remember guys, you can't catch them sitting on the couch. I'll see you on the next one.